guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, this is gonna make me super, super hungry. What are we doing today? French food tour in Paris, France. You know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. We were reacting to Italy, and then we made pizza this week, uh, the week, the last weekend. Whoa. Well, what did you say, last weekend or this weekend? We last made pizza last weekend. Well, past weekend. Past whatever, weekend. Yeah. So I wonder what this weekend will be like. What are we about to make for songs? And today I'm taking you on a food tour of my favorite local spots in Paris, France. And we are starting our day with breakfast at a local bakery. And you absolutely need to go to a bakery in France. Everything that you see here in this shop is made fresh oh from scratch my God. every it's single good. day. And it's this good. is why it's so good. So I got us a bunch of cookies. That's the only so reason to go. Starting I don't need this to be actual tower. I don't need to see the art. I don't need to see anybody you speaking. See the food? I, know, I just want to see the food. Yeah, Eat the, the food. Looks good. The you know, looks enjoy good. the food. And delicious French breakfast food of a croissant. And look at this, it's so flaky, it's so beautiful. It just looks exactly like it should, and it's made with a lot of butter. Because we make which... this at home, but the difference is that we can make only one dessert at a time. Right. Here you have options. Oh my gosh. It will be a common thing today. Wow. Mm. I know. And you get to walk a lot like better. And this part is so crunchy. Look how beautiful. Oh. And I've eaten so many croissants in my life, but this one is really delicious. So this one is my all-time favorite pastry, which people from the South call a chocolatine. <laughs> and if you want to start an argument with a French person, talk about this topic. It's good for chocolate. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, we're thinking we can't all chocolate. So as you can see, there's two different names depending. It's just you know the little pastry uh, with chocolate. Food yeah. In it. yeah. So what what's so confusing? I agree. On where you are from in France, and it's a surprisingly controversial topic. If you don't want to be made fun of by Parisians, call it a pain au chocolat. Otherwise, be like me and ask for a chocolate. But for your own sake, never call it a chocolate croissant. In any case, it's a delicious Ooh. flaky dough pastry with a wow. bunch of chocolate in it, and you should absolutely try it. So I'm going to eat my pain au chocolat. <laughs> which is a very cute and local area with incredible food options. So right now we just arrived to a food market called Marché des Batignolles and I really really love the atmosphere here. It's truly a neighborhood market and a lot of people seem to be regulars of this market and know each other which feels super nice. There's also a lot of beautiful fresh food stands and this is the one we've been looking for. They sell homemade galettes which is a type of salty crepe aka a very ah. thin pancake made of buckwheat flour that's then stuffed with different delicious things. We went with a sausage galette, which is the ultimate street food from the region of Britain. You see how they make crepes, that's so interesting. Yeah, they, 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 yeah. That's, you need that machine so to, make like, to make like that thin, you know, that's yeah. so interesting. It's a galette that has been stuffed with pork I sausage and you thin. usually eat it with you your hands at different... Not as thin as like this? I think yours is thin like this. Like uh, yeah, yeah. I think mine is you do just a good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After many practices, <laughs> events such as festivals and sports games. Mm. And we also got a galette complète, which has cheese, ham, and an egg. You usually pop the egg it's yolk so and spread it before it's eating it, and it's so delicious. Crap. This is one of my... Really? Not really. We eat them savory. Oh, pri pri primarily savory, yeah. then sweet? Oh. The only sweet one we eat is we put banana inside, that's it. Oh. But aside from that... That's the one you make me. Oh. Maybe you oh. should make it. American version, yeah, but uh, where is where, where does she show it? Yeah, ours honestly very when I grew up eating cre like crepes, it's very similar. We basically make a crepe and you put a sausage inside, either, like this, yeah, yeah, either a sausage like this inside or eat the, then the curd otherwise. Mm. So, so, to kind of be more like a savory breakfast food, not just like a you know, like a pancake. Mm. To, to be more filling, no more protein. Usually pop the egg yolk and spread it before eating it, and it's so delicious. This is one of my favorite French comfort foods, and I absolutely love it. It's delicious and cheap, with a whole meal for two people costing 15 euros, which is around 16 dollars. So this. 15 euros for two crabs? With a big sausage in it and an egg. They have one with a sausage and another one with ham and egg. To me, that seems like a lot because crepes are very simple, and 
And the meat ingredient, okay, I can see that. Stephanie, my parents are here. We're in it's pretty 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 pretty
similar, like about mm -hmm. two bucks, which is, you mm -hmm. know, is a ridiculous price for a cookie for me. Yeah. But I guess it kind of makes sense, though. That's right. Oh, yeah, this is a perfect macaroni. Mm. It's so good. I think pistachio is one of their specialties as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. And you'll see when we open that box. <laughs> yes, like if you've never tried fresh macarons, mm. please. Do it. Do yourself a favor. Don't go to Ladry. Eat that type of macarons. It's so much better. It tastes so fresh. The apple pie is a very, very common thing in France. You eat that at like your family's so Sunday pretty. lunch. And I even bought apple pie for Kemi's birthday last month. I'm telling you, you That's cannot pretty. make that stuff up. We eat apple pie Ooh, all the time. But this one pie. is kind of the fancy, creative version. And we're gonna try it right now. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it's like such a different twist on a French classic. And I love the vanilla cream that's on the bottom. Yes. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> if you remember one thing about French food is like you need to have the right type of fats everywhere. And then there's some pastries that truly are a work of art. And before we try their specialty, let me show you something so I've pretty. never seen before. This they do is one make it look like very... I mean, that, that's why the, I think why the price is what it is, because of mm. the way it looks. It does look very pretty, yeah. One of their original creations. You can only find it at this shop. And it looks so delicious with its molten core of salted caramel. There's also a banana mousse and a vanilla cream mm. on top. Yum. That sounds <laughs> Yeah. Cup, right? It's so it this good, right? Good. It's very light. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it's light. Mm. <laughs> it's very light in texture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really love that about French pastries because they're not, you know, like heavy. We're gonna eat sweet pastries. Oh yeah, I like and when the peanut butter is light. Oh la 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 la. has cream. The cream oh, has to so be light. I think for me that's what makes good cakes and what is the light cream. Mm -hmm. When they put heavy cream, I don't like it. It has mm -hmm. to be light. So good, look at all this pistachio like almost like cream. I am yeah. very, very, very excited to try this one. This is one of their specialties and we kept it for the end because it looks amazing. Oh, there's so much pistachio in there. It's so hard to cut the whole one. How do you do it? I did it. When it comes to eating, I'm very strong. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. <gasps> mm. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. I'm in heaven. Wow. Oh, oh this is so Good. Just so you understand, there's a bunch of pistachio cream in it. There's so much pistachio. This is like the perfect creative pastry. I've never seen that before anywhere. I know this pistachio is very popular in Europe. We don't have it yeah. as much here. Yeah. You know, actually, here in the States, it's hard to get... When you get like ice cream, it's hard to get real pistachio ice cream mm. and not the flavoring. It's very difficult. Mm. I also mean, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. I'm looking like... I'm feeling very strong feelings towards this pastry. In France, we usually eat that with dinner or at the end of a, of a meal, and we tend to either have like something big that we share or have a bunch of smaller pastries. I don't think anyone eats three pastries plus two macarons in a row like we did today. That's for you. Yeah. Like, big, big sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> so guys, of course, let us know your thoughts. If you to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord and as always, 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 share as much kindness as possible.